Hey guys, so today's video is a hair and makeup tutorial. I am going to a couple of um, Christmas parties tonight and I wanted to show you what I'm wearing as a Christmas, you know, or holiday party look. And so I just have this nice curly hair and a really, I think, simple eye makeup look that's really Okay, so I just have my hot rollers here. For the big ones, I like to put them on the top, and then I put the medium ones, and I actually put them, instead of like this, I put them, you know, this way, because it gives you a nicer curl, I think. And then the little ones, I put at the very bottom. And the clips I like to use are not actually the ones that come with my hot roller set, which is by Conair. Um, but it's these clippies, and you can get these at, like, Sally. I think that's where I bought mine. So the first thing I'm going to do is a brush out my hair and make sure there are no tangles. Get all the big ones out. And if you notice me looking that way, it's because I've set up a mirror right there. And then I'm going to take, before each section, I'm going to spray each one with the Redken Hot Sets 22 Thermal Setting Spray. And this is just going to help my curls stay longer and protect it at the same time. So I'm going to start in the front and on the top, and I'm going to take a section of hair, just not too big. I have, oh, excuse me, I have a hiccup. I have fairly thin hair thin and fine. And then I'm going to take a section like this, brush it forward because I want to have a lot of body, spray it. My spray bottle is not working the best today. Like so, brush the product through. Let's get some more on the bottom. And then take one of the bigger rollers, bring it down, <laughs> bring it like so, and just wrap it around the roller, grab a clip, and clip it. Then I will take the next section right behind it. Like so. Again, brush it out with my see my hair is so thin and fine. I just it just moves and it tangles. It's I should put these on my lap. And then I Now I'm going to take sections this way, like this, just pull that down, and we're going to take probably, I guess that's one to two inch section, spray it. And then we're taking this medium size in the kit. We're going to roll it, but instead we're going to roll it so that it is lays sideways because it's going to give you a nice ringlet curl.
last little bit you just have these little areas in the back and I'm just going to spray them each side once just because it's just small enough and brush through and then I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the medium sized ones and I am going to use the small curlers and utter freak. I have to fix some of the top ones. Um, now that you look like a complete and utter freak, you can just turn off your hot rollers and let this cool. It's going to take 20 to 30 minutes for it to cool. And while that's doing that, I'm actually going to do my makeup. Okay. So the face, I'm just going to use my Givenchy. Oh wait. First we need to prime our face. Just going to use a Smashbox photo primer. Any primer works. So whatever your preference is. Everybody's skin is different, so I like different stuff. Try to make sure you get it down into your neckline because you will be putting makeup there. Okay. Now I'll be using my um, foundation, which is the Givenchy Photo Perfection Light. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and take my Bedellium Flat Top Kabuki brush and Kind of stipple it all over. And then use the brush and blend it in. Make sure you get into the hairline and the ears. Next I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind um, Erase, what is it called, Dark or Circle Eraser. I love this and they have gotten better. This one didn't break. And I'm going to put under my eyes and around my mouth and around my nose area. Because I basically use it as um, concealer and it works great that way. And just use the same brush and blend it in. And I like putting, when I'm going to be taking pictures and stuff, I like doing my makeup this way with this brush because it gives you kind of an airbrush look versus any other brush. On an everyday basis, I actually use my fingers. Let's see where we're at. Time wise, I think it's going to die. Okay. Now we need to set our makeup, so I'm just going to use my MAC um, Studio 
Minerali Skin Finish and a fluffy brush and just put it everywhere. Can't forget the neckline. And then this is a product I've been loving. Um, it's the Milani Illuminating Face Powder and it is in Hermosa Rose and I'm just going to take a e.l.f. complexion brush. I actually use these as blush brushes and, and just take a little bit like this and I'm going to use it as my blush. So because this look is so dramatic with the look, with the look, so dramatic with the lips, you really want a very flawless face and not too much else going on. The lips are the focus. Then I'm just going to do my eyebrows, fill them in, and my hair is I'm in major need of getting my eyebrows done. I have an appointment on Monday to do that. Okay, they're filled in, and then I'm going to... Oh, I was using... Um, my Benefit Brow Pencil, and then I'm going to use my Anastasia Clear Brow Pencil, or black Brow Gel, to set it so that it doesn't move, and it's kind of hard to do this, one, on camera, and two, when you have ro hot rollers in your hair, they're getting in the way. Darn it, who thought to have a hot roller their hair? Okay, next will be eyes. So, we are going to prime our eyes first. Just like any primer, it's whatever you want. I just happen to have a little bit left of my Smashbox. <coughs> Get these out. Make sure you go all the way to the brow bone. <coughs> okay. So I haven't totally figured out how, what I'm going to do. I'm kind of just going to wing it. Usually how I always do it. Okay, so I'm going to use a flat brush and this gold color by MAC from a holiday palette a long, long time ago. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. nice thick color of it. If you wanted to have this look be a little more bold, you could put the Maybelline 24 color tattoo. They have a bold gold, I think it is, and you could put that underneath this and it would give you a really bright, deep gold look. Then I'm going to take this uh, fluffy uh, brush and the Skylark palette and I'm going to use the color Blitzen, which is this color here, and put that in my crease. Let's take this over here too. I'm trying to hurry because I'm running out of sunlight. going to use that in the crease and then I'm just going to dab a little bit in the outer corner just to kind of give you that cat eye look.
Okay. And lastly, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Champagne Fizz as my highlight. And just this really super fluffy brush. And just use that on your a brow bone and bring it down. And if you want, you can put a little bit in the inner corner. Brighten up that eye. Like so. Okay. So next would be eyeliner. And I can't find it in the mess that I will take a picture of and post on Instagram, I'm sure. <coughs> and I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Liquid Liner in black. And I'm going to try to do this on camera, but we'll see if I can. Under my eye, I'm just going to use this Styly Style um, black liner for the bottom lash line. Make sure that you connect it with the top, otherwise it's going to look a little bit. And I'm just having difficulties today. And I like to just use my finger to smudge it out. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast in the Fusion. I think it works well. And last but not least, for the lips, I'm going to align it with the NYX um, Lip Liner in Ever. And then I just like to fill it in with the... And then I'm also going to use Sophia from Skylark Lip Gloss. And there's the face. So let's take this down. Ooh, it is caught in the higher. Try to take it down so that they kind of just... Okay, so I just hairsprayed my hair. Sorry. I was having difficulties doing it on camera and whatever. You know how to take out hot rollers. Anyways, and I just hairsprayed my hair, kind of ran my fingers through it, 
And if you want them less curly, you can just take a comb or a brush and brush them out a little bit lightly. But my hair will literally be like that in probably 20 minutes, so I just don't want to jinx it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you do this look or something similar. Send it to me on Twitter or, in, or tag me and on Instagram. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.